The great Naomi come back. Two years ago, she was fired from the company. She went to TNA or Impact, whatever you want to call it, to make a name for herself. And she did. This year's Royal Rumble, she came back. Everyone was shouting. She was performing great. She was in the final five. I don't remember if she was, but she was in the final ones. She qualified for the Elimination Chamber match. She almost win the Elimination Chamber. That's not true as well. She was the first eliminated, if I'm not mistaken. So that leaves Naomi with the greatest comeback of all time. The greatest, like loss after loss after. It's almost as great as the Randy Orton's comeback. Isn't it? Isn't it? I don't know when it's going to be the time for Naomi. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't see anything happening for Naomi anytime soon. It's just that time, you know? Bailey is rising. Io Sky is rising. Becky is already there. Mommy is already there. Naomi is not there. And I don't know. Too many people are rising right now. And there is no place for Naomi. She needs to do more things than just changing her theme songs. Don't, don't get me wrong. I like both of her theme songs. But there is something missing. You know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she's... She needs to cut more promos. That will help, definitely. I want to hear more of her now, whenever she's back from Impact or TNA, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, this leaves us with the great Naomi comeback. I'm really excited to see what's in her future. Maybe more losses. Or maybe it's going to be really an epic comeback. Maybe she should feud with someone with great comeback as well. Uh, Liv Morgan. <laughs> no, it's it's not the same. Liv Morgan was in the company while she was injured. It's not the same, guys. It's not the same. But they were treated kind of the same. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.